thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the interview. So uh, first, tell us your name, background, and about your experiment. Uh, my name is Dr. Robert Milliken. I work at Columbia University teaching physics. Um, before my PhD, I taught elementary physics. Um, in, 19, no, in 1895, I earned my PhD studying light polarization. Uh, my famous experiment is called the oil drop experiment, which allows for measuring the charge of an electron. The experiment is composed of a closed chamber with two metal plates. Oh, that's very nice. So, uh, what was the goal of uh, this experiment? Uh, my goal was to find the charge of an electron. Um, when conducting the experiment, the metal plates will get a negative or a positive charge when an electric current is present. Oil drops are sprayed into the chamber and they fall through the upper metal plate. Uh, electrons in the air attach themselves, revealing the ne a negative charge. Uh, with a light source, the drops slide up so they can be found when they fall. Its mass can be calculated. The overall electric charge can be calculated using, um, using the values of the voltage and the mass. Um, this experiment was significant because the existence of subatomic particles was not universally accepted beforehand. Um, Excellent. That's really, that's really cool. So, uh, where did this uh, experiment take place? Um, this experiment was conducted at my workplace, uh, the Ricern Physical Laboratory at the University of Chicago. Um, I was a professor and then promoted to an assistantship in 1896 for physics. In total, I worked there around 15 years and I left around 1921 to go to the University of Columbia. Um, Many other well-known physicists have worked in this lab, and some of them include the Manhattan Project physicists. Excellent. So, uh, what else was going on around the world uh, when you did this experiment? Mm, okay. So, events that happened around the time of this experiment in um, 1909 include uh, the formation of the NAACP because of inequality, um, President Taft was sworn into office as the 27th president, um, and Swedish writer Selma Lagerlöf was the first woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize in literature. And also, the 16th Amendment was passed, which gave power to tax incomes. Excellent. So, uh, besides yourself, who else worked on this project? Okay, um, my partner's name was Harvey Fletcher. Harvey and I worked on other projects together, like developing a um, hearing aid type of devices, a, a hearing aid type of device. Um, his contribution to, on this project was so significant that it would not have been successful without him. Excellent. So what was your main role in doing this project? Okay, my role was to conduct experiments to find a method to measure when an electron oh, when an electron charge is present within the chamber. My techniques help me to find both the the magnitude of electric fields generated on the droplets and the amount of electric force. Um, the magnitude can then be calculated with this. And after you completed this experiment, uh, how did the results and findings help uh, affect the physics community? Ah. My experimental findings allowed for many calculations. Um, the elementary electric charge value, known as the coulomb, was calculated after multiple experiments, about 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb. Um, my findings impacted the physics community by supplying by supplying proofs. There is an electric charge in all base units. Um, using this method, I was able to look at the data from Einstein's experiments um, relating to pho photoelectric equations and calculate the first direct pho photoelectric value for Planck's constant. More generally, I was able to provide a source of clarity on atomic and kinetic theories. And did you win any awards 
when uh, you were conducting these experiments? Um, I won the Nobel Prize in 1932 for my work on both the elementary charge of an electric particle and the photoelectric effect. Um, the photoelectric effect work is what I was referring to earlier about all the working calculations I did from Einstein's experiments and the charge of uh, the uh, elec uh, electricity, uh, the elementary charge of electricity award was for the oil drop experiment, of course. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time today. Thank you.